Hey, this is Ramon and the channel is Alpha 4, that's designation Alpha 4 IV. And welcome to uh, my questions for series. And today we're going to be doing questions for agnostics. Now this one is going to have a bit of an intro. So if you want to skip just to the questions, I'll try to remember to put a timestamp somewhere in the bottom on the, uh, in the information stuff below. Okay. So about three minutes in for the questions. All right. So this video was scheduled for much later, but after my last video where I was talking to atheist, some weak atheist, their wording for themselves, not mine, felt underserved. So I decided to push this video up on the production schedule. Even though this is a new topic that I have never discussed on this channel before, there may be some bleed over in the comments and viewership from previous videos of mine in this series. As with my questions for series, I have inadvertently stumbled upon a type of code war concerning language, definitions, and categories. A code war of ideas that within the three different camps concerned has become a type of linguistic civil war. A war between those who use the term atheism as a theological and philosophical distinctive versus those who use it as a social identifier. These who use it as a social identifier are people that traditionally would have been called agnostic in other eras. This change has made the agnostics that use the word agnosticism as a theological and philosophical distinctive upset that they are now being lumped in with atheist. I have seen this argument from both sides from both atheist and agnostics in my previous videos in this series where atheist say agnostics are just weak atheists while agnostics say that they are not atheist at all. And I saw this line in the sand more clearly in a follow-up video where weak atheists were arguing that my definition of atheism did not include them. So let's begin. There are going to be 13 questions this time. So for those who want me to let them know how many questions I'm asking beforehand, there you go. So this would be question number one. So here is my first request. As agnostic is a wide category with much variety and many subsets and hybridizations, could you please state how you identify yourself in your answers, replies, and responses? If you are of a hybrid or subgroup of agnosticism, which subgroup do you consider yourself to be? Agnostic atheist, agnostic Christian, agnostic Buddhist, apatheist, etc., etc. Question number two. What would it take to make you a believer in a god or gods? Or in a deity or supreme being of any kind? Question number three. What would it take to make you an atheist? For this, assume I mean a hard or staunch atheist. Question number four. Why not just label yourself a skeptic? Question number five. What is your reason for labeling yourself an agnostic? Question number six. Are you familiar with philosophical arguments for atheism? Question number seven. Are you familiar with the philosophies of skepticism or cynicism? Question number eight. Many atheists simply realize that they never believed. Some once believed, but now do not, just as some religious were once atheist. Was there a moment like this for you? To word this question another way, 
Would you consider agnosticism a conclusion you came to or an open question you have not found the answer to? Question number nine. For some, religious doubt is an important factor in their faith. Some might even call it a tenant of their faith. Are you religious? Question number 10. Do you believe in the supernatural? Question number 11. Are you spiritual or superstitious in some other way? Question number 12. Is there a doctrine or philosophy you ascribe to or that convinced you to become agnostic? And finally, question number 13. Other than religion, faith, or God, is there anything else in your life or belief system that you are agnostic about? All right, there are my questions for agnostics, and I hope that also answers some concerns from some uh, commenters in some of my other videos. Please respond. If you respond to my video, the new YouTube system, the search engine now is terrible. You can't find anything. Nothing is in the correct order. So if you're going to respond to me in a video, please put the video down below in a link so I can follow it. I realize I'll have to approve the comment because there'll be a link in it. That's fine. But I want to see your responses to these questions. So please put a link in the description to your video. Uh, next week, uh, I plan to hit two topics that some might consider controversial just by the title, but there will be no malice in my intent. And uh, I'm really enjoying doing this series. It's really fun, and I'm enjoying the conversations, although some people clearly don't enjoy the questions. Peace, like, and subscribe. Comment down below. Talk to you all later. Have a great day and a, and a wonderful night.